You are very welcome back to the show. Now, tomorrow, the 20th of May, is World Bee Day. So we are here to celebrate the work of the humble but mighty bee here in the studio. The place is actually buzzing. Literally. Literally buzzing. Shane Lahan, we, di we did know we this, though, he and I. Of course, we know Shane Lahan's <laughs> our folklorist, but he's here with a different, I was going to say hat, but a different costume guys. altogether. <laughs> he is in the guise of beekeeper today. Shane, you're an avid beekeeper. Well, listen, I, I'm an accidental beekeeper, yes. you know, about well, 12, 13 years ago. I was after building a curlock of all things, and I had all this woodworking equipment, and I said, what will I do now? I'll make a hive, and all the bees will come in. Sure, little did I know that, that there's nothing more complicated in this world than bees. So I went off and I did a course. And I must say, and I want to dedicate today, because tomorrow is National, International Bee Day. Mm -hmm. But my great mentor in all of this was, uh, is a lovely man called Noel Power. Okay. And there's a picture of Noel and his wife, Sally. They watch this program oh. avidly every Hi, single Noel day. Sally. Right. Hello. But Noel taught me everything. I was his, he was the head druid, so to speak. Yeah. Okay? And I've been his apprentice for many, many years. So this, I only feel that I'm a part of an ongoing craft. Yeah. But, but I'll tell you one thing, bees have changed my life. I absolutely love them and I relish everything that I do with my bees and I go to them every day. Do you speak to them, Shane? I do, yeah, I speak to them. You know, there's great folklore tradition. Just yeah. tell you this one, very interestingly. Um, when any beekeeper died long ago, uh, you would always go, first of all, and you would tell the bees, otherwise the bees would swarm. And I've got a beautiful apiary um, and I go there every day. And I know when my own mum, Eleanor, passed away, I went up to my apiary because it was just my sanctuary, if you like. Mm -hmm. I opened up the hive and I told all the bees of my mum's passing. And you know what? I found that really useful for someone searching for maybe different areas of yeah. spirituality and so on, maybe not going the orthodox route. My bees became something very important. But you know what? It's the most natural thing in the world. In fact, I mean, the reality is we wouldn't be here if we didn't have pollinators like bees. 80% of what we eat, 80% of the food in the world has to be pollinated by animals and bees are the top pollinators. And you know what I love now as well? I know where more of everything that's going on in nature. Yeah. And at the moment, I know that the bees are on the horse chestnut, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I, they have pollen. And I gave you some pollen yeah. there, Les. Yes, yeah, yeah, there's there. two different types. There's different yeah. colour pollen comes in all of the time. And the bees will pack, their, mm -hmm. that's their protein, that's their nutrition, okay? But we can eat it as well. You're eating it now, yeah. and I, I put it on the porridge, put it on the I cereal, every, every, oh my every God, it's, morning. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's very really good. good. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I can, I know, mm. and at the moment as well, they're on the crab apple trees. Mm. So you can watch as the bees, they comb the pollen off themselves and they come into the, in, into the hive. I can see the, the, the pollen grains coming in. I know what's going on. So you connect now. This so, is weird. This tastes, I know this sounds really odd, but it tastes to me a bit like seaweed. Okay. No, in a good way, because I love chana. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's yeah. Dillisk, Dillisk. Dillisk, I suppose, yeah. There's, there's a, there's it's a, a sweet, sweet, there's but it's a sweetness earthy. to it. Or you've mm. got it. You've yeah. got it. More. Earthy. And you know what? I think this is very interesting because I, I find it very difficult to explain. The sensuality of the beehive, okay? Mm. When I open up the beehive, the aroma and the smell that. that comes off mm. is incredible. What kind of a smell is it? Um, it's the smell of, of, it's almost like you're trying to describe, it's a, an earthy, yeah. oh, pleasant. And you know, there are people all over the world now who are actually linked up to something like this and they're actually inhaling the mm. positive qualities. Why? Because Dahi, what you have yeah. here is a second element because the bees bring in nectar, but they also bring in what we call propolis. And propolis is... I don't even know how to describe, to, to describe the smell. It's is kind that of smoky. propolis now, that one? This is propolis, okay. okay? So what they do is they go on to all the beautiful um, sap that comes off the trees, all of that sort of material. They regurgitate that, and they use that to glue the hive together and disinfect it. So there is this incredible yeah. quality. So all that There's a gluey material. smell of it, funnily enough. Yeah, it, you can buy propolis in the health shop oh, now as a vitamin, and they call it the natural antibiotic it what you do? for you your immunity. Anti yeah. Antibacterial, I antibiotic, yeah. yeah. You can take oh, the propolis drops. Or I, I have vitamin. people calling to my door all the can time. Can I taste some of this? Proper. I wouldn't taste okay. it, no. I wouldn't, it, to taste that properly, you need to do a whole other... That's video. probably why they have but to listen, change it to yeah. make it One into of the things I brought in, and talk about propolis. Do you see this, right? I couldn't go near my bees if I didn't have this little implement, okay? This is a hive tool because in about half an hour, the bees will glue the entire interior with, with, this. with this propolis. That's okay. what they use it for. You have to go you, through it. You literally have to Do, do, they, do they produce this so? They do, yeah. They produce that. Uh, they collect it and they, they work it through their organism and they produce that inside. Yes. And this, this, this turns into something that will seal the hive. Though. Absolutely. And that's why you need that to, to get back into it. The other one, though, that's that amazing. They're, they're the, the one that their body produces naturally, though, is the bees' wax. 
And look I, I got, at this. This, this I love. It doesn't come out like that, though. No, <laughs> it doesn't. Smells <laughs> divine. So they have little wax glands underneath themselves yeah. to, to coat themselves as well. But this is what they use to make the beautiful honeycomb. And into that, of course, the queen lays. Into that, we keep the keep the, uh, the the pollen, and also then, of course, the honey, which is their food. So, so how how does that process start in the beginning, so Shane, the comb itself? So the bees come into the hive. What's inside the hive? Nothing. Well, uh, we we as beekeepers, we put what we call a sheet of foundation. So we would take the old wax, just make it into a sheet, and the bees then draw that out. They make the the comb from that. Okay. But in the past, long ago, Dahi, they yeah. would just take something like the straw skip that they brought in. Just the like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Exactly. Well, that, well, you know, when we talk about the beehive huts yeah. and everything, that was the shape of them, you see. Yes. Yes. But the, these were the old bee skeps, and they, the bees will naturally make their wax in, in that. Yeah. We now tend to put them, as I brought in today, Look at in, yeah. into the frame that's yeah. here. How many and, are in there, Shane? Um, in, in a normal I brought in this few today. There might be only 1,000, 2,000 there. In the heart of the summer, there's over 70,000 in your hives. In the hive. Yeah, 70,000 in each hive. And do they all stay in the one place then, or do, do they go from one to the other? You're or? absolutely bang on. No, you can only move a hive less than three feet or more than three miles. If I move to, say, five, five or six feet over, they'd all come back to where the hive was and they wouldn't know where it was. So, one of the great things about the bees is they keep returning back to their same place. Boomerang bees. Same, oh same yeah. Yeah. I, w I want to show you my bee box if I can. Yeah. Yes. And this is something I'm very proud of because beekeeping is a vernacular cram. It's something I've inherited. I'm, I'm still learning. I'd say it takes 20 years to really learn the cram properly. But every beekeeper has an old bee box with everything thrown into it. Like a okay? toolbox. For, for a yeah. toolbox, exactly. I used to be taking photographs of the old beekeeper's boxes. Yeah. And one of the lads said to me one day, he said, you like the bee box? I said, I do, yeah. You don't have one? I said, I don't. The next day we went out, Noel actually presented me with this particular box. Oh, and what wow. was it? It was belonged to a beekeeper who had died. So I'm, I love oh. this box because I, I didn't make it. The man who had this, he worked, and he had all his bits and bobs inside, you know. Yeah. Like I, I was looking at this. This, this was an old cassette case. Do you remember the old cassette <laughs> yeah. case? And look, a piece, of a, a piece of a saw blade, and he put the queen into that and closed there. I've never cleared out this box. I kept it with all his material, all his equipment, because to me, yeah. I'm only... I'm only the present incumbent. You're, you're going to pass I, it on. And, and it'll you're pass the keeper. On. I'm the keeper. keeper. Yeah. That's pretty where it came from. Shane, can we just get a few more bee facts? Because I was looking it up and I can't believe that a bee can fl fly something like 15 miles in an hour. Yes. And to make one, show us one of your jars of honey there. To make one pound of honey, apparently, it takes two million visits to flowers. So you That's... know the way we hear busy as a bee. I couldn't believe this. So to make one pound of honey, they have to go out and have two million visits for a pound of honey. This it's, is Shane's honey. It's, it's unbelievable. And they'll only fly within that distance of about three miles. So they have the radius that's there. So, and they know everything, you know? They know where to go. They know their landmarks and so on. The bee knowledge. And the bees can, and this, you'll say, it, it seems now that I'm gone mad, but the bees do a little dance. It's called the, wag, the waggle dance. It, they make a figure of eight. By doing that, by wagging their little bodies along, they indicate by the position of the sun to the other bees where the honey source and the Very nectar good. source is. And they do that in the dark, okay, because we're looking at them here today in the brightness, but they do everything in the dark. Mm -hmm. So the bees are incredible. Do, do they like the brightness of the studio, Shane? Does they, it bother them at all out they, there? It doesn't mind. They don't mind. I, when I'm transporting this this particular um, case here, I have shutters on it so they're blocked up. But okay. no, they take no notice because when I'm inspecting the hive, I take them out into the light all of the time, you know? Do they get to know you, your own yeah. bees? My, my bees... Trust, you're like any animal if you have livestock yeah. or whatever. I, I, I go up and, you know, the more I have my own bees and the more... Listen, I'm very interested in the native black bee. Yeah. Our, na our native black bee is very important to us. You know, the bees will be mating with all sorts of figures, but the native black bee is very calm bee. My bees are very calm. Are they native black They're bees? Native black bee, How many yeah. bees do we have, different types? Um, you know, there are different, like the bees, you, people brought in different bees from other parts of Italy, from Africa, from all sorts of places. What we're trying to do in Ireland is to keep our genetic stock the same. Brilliant. And that's what's important because our bee is used to the rain and used to the cold yeah. and can survive. And our native black bee has found its way into the wild and is kind of very good against the diseases that affect bees. Yeah, so well, the environment suited. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah, so we're suited to our environment, suited to the habitat and, and so on. So my bees will know who, who I am because 
they know me all the time. But if I brought one of you up, yeah. and let's say you were wearing perfume or you were wearing yes. something like that, would upset they might go for you, you yeah. know? So I go to the bees every day and I talk to them as dying. Yeah, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? For example, they'd be working very, very hard making the honey and then you're going to come in and you're going to take the honey. Would they get mad at you then for taking yeah. some of the stuff that they'd be working very, very hard at? Listen, I, there, there, are, there are these big, big enterprises, big commercial beekeepers. I'm a small hobbyist beekeeper. I love... The, the honey is the last thing I think about. I love the whole process. I love making the bee boxes. I love going through the whole thing. I love going to the apiary. But when they make, the, when I take off the honey, and I do take off the honey, and I keep it for friends and neighbours yeah, and family so and, 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 and gifts and, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But what, what, what to me is, is important, I leave a lot of the honey with them. Yeah. I don't take off the full amount. And we often feed the in, in like an emergency, mm -hmm. uh, a, a syrup, a, 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 just because sometimes uh, there isn't some, something has happened in the environment, there wouldn't be enough mm -hmm. uh, nectar sources for them. So you you have to keep on top of the bees. They're not a wild creature. Yeah. They're a domesticated okay. creature. How long does it take then for them to actually uh, fill a full, I suppose, is this a, a full... Uh, well, in the, in the winter, this? we go down to about 10,000 bees. They're in a little yeah. cluster, in a little ball, and they vibrate to keep themselves warm. I actually love it in the, in the, when the snow comes. Yeah. I often see a little patch of melt on the top of the hive where the bees have created enough heat to melt the, uh, the snow above. That's but then as we go on, we come to uh, Bridget's Day and yeah. Gubnet's Day in February. Yeah. The queen starts laying again. By the time we're into now, into May, uh, we're up, the numbers are increasing into 40, 50, 60, 70,000. And then when the honey flow is over, which will be over at the end of July, just start of August when harvest begins, Lunasa, if you like, uh, what happens then is that we the, the numbers go down again, the queen stops laying, mm -hmm. and we go down to about 10,000 by the time we get to South. She was yeah. amazing as well. You know, Shane's honey is beautiful. We've tasted it before. It's solid because he, he, make, he makes a few, he counts us now as a few of our we're, friends. <laughs> the little jars. We're, we're in the inner circle. The inner circle. <laughs> and you know what's lovely as well? Buying local honey is really important. It's actually better for you, for your immunity and all that as well, mm -hmm. because for where we're from ourselves yeah. and the different types of honey. We don't have time to talk about it, but whatever the bees feed on at mm -hmm. the time, you've got like honey with ivy honey, a darker one. Mm -hmm. Hold that up, Shane, and just show people oh, there. Yeah. So it's, it depending on the, 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 the color of the, the honey, time of the, year, the time of the year, what they feed on. So it's just, it's fascinating. I would say to everyone to read a little bit, especially with tomorrow with mm -hmm. World Bee Day, on the bees, because we would not be here on this planet without them. And Shane, thank you for Thanks, sharing Shane. this Th with there's us. There's a great smokiness around the, around the I studios. Love it. So we don't need to talk about well. smoker, but it's <laughs> great. Shane, That's thanks great. so much. Thanks, Shane. Great Brilliant. to have you as always. You've been fantastic. <laughs> Have to get that in all today. day long, <laughs> all day long, shit. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. <laughs> oh my god, go quickly, go, go, go. We have a wonderful so competition for you actually today. We have a lovely prize because, of course, Taste of Double Stars.